Yo, what's up? I'm Rich. I'm Eric. I'm Christopher. I'm Joel. I'm Sabdiel. And we are CNCO. And today we're going to be going over our shoes and determining who has the best kicks. Flashiest. I think these are my flashiest shoes. These are Jordan's 11s. I got them in LA. Yeah, they were like 2K, something like that. But I think they robbed me, to be honest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we had like an award in Puerto Rico and I bought it before that and I was gonna wear it there. So yeah, it shines in the sun. Right now you can't see it on here, but right now like you can see it on the sun and stuff like that, so it's super cool. This is the Louis Vuitton trainer. Ooh. I just was shopping and I see them and I was like, wait, that's cool. And I just buy them. <laughs> so, yeah, I usually use with white um, outfits and I like them. This Ralph Simmons cost kind of like 600. It was a gift from a video. This part is like black, the black part, and this part is metallic. I love it because like every time I use it, everybody like look at them. Rarest, well these shoes are yeah. called the Union Air Jordan 1. So I really like this shoe because it has like different colors, you know? You can kind of wear it with anything streetwear. I like the shoelaces. It goes like from black to tan, and then it has like this little stitch. Um, detail that's like blue. Oh, I left this here because I like it. <laughs> I've walked around the street sometimes and people were like, well, I know where you have those. And I was like, what? Because I was confused because at first they were like selling normally, but now I know they're over 1K. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a really cool shoe. It's pretty unique. Yo, 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 me. I have the reddest shoes. These are the Valentino Undercover Silver Climber. Remember, I got them from a uh, war show. Last time I wore this was when we were traveling to LA, I think, because they're comfortable too. This, um, 700, 800. I like that detail on the back. That's really yeah. nice. This is like a skull with but the V. These are Converse ASAP NASA edition. I haven't worn them yet because I got it right before everything started, like the whole Corona thing. These are fresh because, you know, the corduroys as well. And it has like fire on the side. It has like these colors on the side. So it looks crazy. Um, it also shines when like the, the sun hits. I like the black, you know, the black soles. It's cool, man. It's a little vibe. As soon as all this is over, man, I think I'm gonna I'm put them on and I'm just gonna like jump outside. Almost expensive. So this shoe costs like about $1,200, I believe. This one is uh, Versace. I wore them actually for the video of De Cero. And these were so comfortable because I had like a like a sprained ankle. So these kind of like helped me, you know, stay up and like kind of keep a balance. It has like a wide sole. So it, it was cool to just like lean on it, you know? So I like this this uh, shoe because it's, it's red and it has um, cheetah. It's kind of like fur, so it feels, it feels nice, you know? Um, and I like the plastic on the side. It kind of gives it like a vibe. And I like this, the design in the back, the Versace design, so it's cool. Underrated. So these are Alexander McQueen's oversized runner. My underrated shoes. I think they're fire, but I don't. I don't think the people kind of like them because they look like marshmallows. To be honest, on your on your feet, they look like marshmallows because they're really like kind of big and they have this big platform. Um, but they're really comfortable. And I use this for a show and uh, to travel a lot. I got them from a, a world show too. We, I, we had to perform, and I got this to perform. They, look, they actually look fresh, bro. Yeah, they're fire. Beautiful, I like them. Yeah. They look like marshmallows. They look like marshmallows. I think these are underrated. These are Converse. These are my favorite shoes ever, man, because I feel like they're so comfortable. I wore these to dance once uh, for an award. They were super comfortable. I never danced on these before. I like my Converse dirty, by the way. I don't like to clean my Converse. They are Valentino. I think it's underrated. Not everybody likes this style. I love it. And I wear it for like almost everything. You can tell it's like a little you dirty. The material is pretty cool because this part of here, it's like a sock and it's so comfortable inside. Like you think you're in a cloud. And so they, they kind of sell this like separately too and you can change the colors. Yeah. Last time I wore, I think it was when we used to like fly. I, I think it was from my fly from a lake. Really, really important to be comfortable on the plane. 
I'm gonna start with the sexiest one, of course. Look how they come in. Look, they come in sexy. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. It was good. Boom. Look at this babies right here. I think the they look like like astronaut shoes. I don't know what brand are these to be honest. They're BB. And I, I don't use them that much because they're so like they're, they're sexy. so sexy that it's just if I wear them it's like too too sexy going around. No, no, no it's too much. <laughs> and and <laughs> If these two, they're Louboutins, and I think they're pretty sexy. And this, I have a really cool story because these are the ones that the guys gave it to me as my gift and my birthday. Those, those are the sexy. Yeah, those are the sexy. Those are definitely. Put the astronauts away. Ale, ale, Santiel, ale. These ones are the D Square Two Chunky sneakers. Right now they're kind of dirty, but in their moment, but they're still sexy. I love them because they make me very tall. And I don't know the details that they have, like yellow here, um, red, blue. This is a compliment, but every time I see Sabdia wearing these shoes, it gives me like Transformers vibes, you know? Yeah, I love them. It's one of my favorite shoes. I do have a contender. They're, they're sexy because they're, they're just all black, you know what I'm saying? We have to see them. Yo, these are pretty freaking hey. fly, yo. These are the brothers of, of Richards, the one that, that he had for the... Oh, it's the same, oh, okay. Yeah, the same mother. But you know black is always a color. Yo, hold on, hold on. These are the sexiest. These are the one that will win the battle of all time. Yeah. Damn. Sparkly, bro. They look sexy. These are about main. I've been having these for a little bit, uh, and I feel like they're my favorite dress-up shoes of all time. I wore these actually in Puerto Rico for an after party or something like that. I, I could wear these anytime. They're one of my favorite shoes that I have. These are ugly, but these are still cool, so I'm, I might just use these again. Decide See what themselves. they think. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are um, Raph Simmons. But you could put any color socks. You exactly. Know? You yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think people think that these shoes are ugly, but I think they are super cool. Because like Richard said, you can wear um, different socks and give different vibes. They are comfortable, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh la la. Ooh. I, I think mine is ugly to the eye of other people, but I think they're really sick for me. These are the M Martin Rose Nikes. Yeah, I feel like people wouldn't like them because because of, of this. They might think they're like stepped on for a while or something, and they kind of got like messed up. But I like them personally. The color is insane. Yeah, the color is crazy. Uh, ¿cómo se llama? The 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 Pink Panther. Pink. <laughs> Last time I wore these was about a year ago for the billboards. I always thought they were sick since from the beginning, I was like, whoa, they're so different and the color's super cool. Kind of like like big shoes. See inside, it's like if it's a normal shoe, it's just the, I think this is just like filled in, you know? Like if it's just a bump and it's filled in with, I don't know what, with rubber, but it's pretty comfortable and it gives you like, like an inch. Some people that are not as open to like changing up their styles, they might think it's ugly, but some, some people see them in different perspectives. Yeah, we all have different perspectives, I think. All right, so that was all from us. Uh, see you in studio. We had so much fun doing this. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please stay home, take care of yourselves, and don't forget to listen to Honey Boo. Love, Love you. you. See you in studio. Thank you, guys.